How to add Shopify theme app extensions for developers. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can get started with theme app extensions on your Shopify in the most simplest way. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now over here, Theme app extension basically allows merchants to easily add dynamic elements to their themes without having to interact with liquid templates or code. You can start building theme app extensions with, you know, your Shopify CLI that you have. And the building of them is, uh, you know, mainly for developers. Like if you're not a developer, then I would not prefer that you would go with this because it is a pretty difficult process to go through. But yeah, what you'll learn with this is that after you've finished this tutorial, you have accomplished, you know, creating a theme app extension, previewing the theme app extension, testing the theme app extension, adding onboarding instructions onto your app, deploying and releasing the theme app extension. Now, the requirements for this is you have a partner account, OK, and you've created a development store that uses generated test data and you've created an app that uses Shopify CLI 3.0 or higher. And you're going to make sure that you have themes such as Dawn and stuff, you know, the Shopify 2.0 themes. Anything other than that will not work. And you've installed the project dependencies like Ruby and Bundler. And you understand the theme app extensions framework. Now, to start things off, you are going to go to the Shopify CLI. So I'm going to write Shopify CLI over here. And uh, this is basically Shopify CLI for themes, which is for Shopify developers, basically. So uh, what you're going to do, uh, you can also get Shopify CLI in your apps as well. So you can go into your apps, go to your Shopify app store. And once you go to your Shopify app store, you can simply search up CLI. And uh, once you search up CLI, it gives you, you know, different uh, theme accesses if you want to go with this. But uh, you can also simply go with CLI, which is a command line interface that helps you build Shopify apps and themes. OK, so basically to get CLI. You can go with CLI for apps, you could go with CLI for themes, and uh, you can obviously get it through the GitHub integration and all, or you can install Shopify CLI from here. So to install Shopify CLI, you could use it with Node.js, you could use it using Git, Bundler, or Ruby, you know, whichever installer you want to go with. So the most that would make sense would be uh, either Node.js or just using Git because Git is also a pretty trusted one. So you're going to go ahead and download this. If you have Windows, just go download for Windows. Make sure it's 64-bit uh, if you have a 64-bit system. And once you do that, it's going to take you into the installation process. And as you can see, it's not too big of a file. It's simply 58 megabytes. So we're just going to wait for that to download. And as that downloads, obviously, you're going to run a few following commands that I'm going to show you. OK, so to, you know, use Shopify CLI to generate a new extension for you that you can obviously add into your Shopify. You're going to navigate to the directory of the app that you want to add your extension to. And you can run the following commands to start creating the extension like uh, NPM run Shopify app generate extension. And you can select theme app extension as the extension types. Uh, you can provide names for your extension and you should have, you know, different extension directories as well with meta field definitions like area of products, namespace of demo, key of average rating and type integer. So you're going to create different meta fields definitions for yourself for, you know, your coding and all. And again, the reason I said that this is for developers is because it uses a lot of code and the code is really necessary for this. So I'm going to go with that and click on run. And here you're obviously going to install the proper, you could say, interface for the GNU that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install. And here you can see it says it removes the previous Git versions that it has. And uh, you're going to set up the Git installer for your Shopify CLI. So just go ahead and add that. And once you've added all of that, let me show you the line of code that you're going to want to follow. So basically this code over here is what you're going to get. So basically you're going to create a new extension for yourself where you're going to use Shopify CLI to create new extensions. And once you use Shopify CLI to create new extensions here, it's going to give you, you know, navigating to the directory of the app that you want to add to your extension, run the following command 
as I told you, NPM Run Shopify Ad Generate extension right under the NPM section. And once you've added the NPM section for yourself, it also says provide a name for your extension uh, and all that. And once you've done all of that, it gives you the different areas of products, these namespace demos and all. You can also preview your theme app extensions where you can preview your extension by running the dev command, which starts a local development and server that supports hot reloading. The preview is available for you and it's really easy to get your head around it and you can navigate to your app directory where you can run one of these commands like npm run dev, which basically runs the developer. And then moving on, you can also specify which theme you want to host your theme app extension in using the theme ID or name. And if you don't specify a theme, then the command will upload Dawn as the example theme to your dev store. So you just follow all these instructions. You can just go to shopify.dev and go to theme app extensions to see all of this. So then you're going to test your changes where you're going to verify your, that your app looks and behaves correctly by testing your changes on a theme in your development store. And in your development store, go to an online store 2.0 theme and navigate to the theme editor where you can follow the procedures for adding app blocks, activating app embedded blocks, verifying that the app behaves as expected, and you can verify the following like app embedded blocks for floating components of, uh, you know, position properly without obscuring page content. You can use the theme editor to activate and deactivate your app, which embedded your blocks and configure their settings. You can use the theme editor to add, remove and reposition app blocks and configure their settings and different app documentations to help your documents. So you can also provide instructions for what merchants need to see and do after installing your app, deploy and release the extensions, get the tips for your different builds, navigate to your app directory, run uh, these following commands, release different apps for yourself, and you should basically be good to go when it comes to the coding bit of all of this. So just follow these steps that they've given on the whole proper Shopify official developer section blog. And if you follow all those steps, trust me, you're gonna be good to go with all of this. So that's the general idea of how you're going to work with your basic, uh, you know, Shopify theme editor and how you're going to add theme extensions for yourself using the theme app extension. And again, if you're not a developer, this might be difficult for you because you're going to need to have to download a few things like, uh, as I showed you, Ruby, you're going to need to add bundle, Git, and all these different code editors to, you know, use this for yourself. So once you do that, you should be good to go from there. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.